on to the key. I hate it, yet I can't get rid of it. I haven't the will. The wind whistles as it sweeps through the cold winter night. Even within this house that I wish I would never call home, I feel a blustering chill as it seeps inside. The fire at the bottom of the decrepit chimney is out. Oh, hello. You caught me reading Dead Awake. It's a wonderful book that has been written by some lovely people right here in Queen Anne's County. Mr. John Dewey and his amazing creative writing class, club, club, club. from the Centerville Middle School. I teach a class too, yes, but we have, <laughs> we have a club and, they, and we made the book together. That's awesome. And we, we've been greeted by some of your students today, or former students now. Right. But you have Jonas here. And we're going to meet, who else? Allie Holgrieve and Brooke Hodges, who uh, illustrated the cover and probably half of the um, story illustrations in this book. Now, I gotta be honest, I'm a little angry because I just closed the book and I forgot to save my page. <laughs> so now I gotta reread the whole thing. There's a table of contents. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dead Awake, it was written by the people in your club. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about it? What is Dead Awake? Um, Dead Awake is a title uh, chosen by the club members. It started as um, a class assignment. We teach a horror unit in eighth grade. We read stories by Edgar Allan Poe, um, Charlotte Perkins Gilman, um, and some modern ones too. And um, once we um, read and analyze these stories, I'm, and I say, all right, let's take a shot at writing our own. And over the course of six months, the, the stories are really good. They pack a punch, they're thematically relevant, and really good. Uh, and those are the stories that are in that book. So what did you contribute to the book? Um, I wrote a story for the book. It's called The Writer's Demise. And I also was the copy editor. I went through each story, read each one, and went through all the mistakes or like grammatical errors and fixed those before publishing. I would not let him leave the classroom until he finished. So <laughs> it was some, some long days, put it that way. Did he give you an A? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys worked on this all year. When you started the school year, did you know you were going to be working on a book that's going to be published and sold on Amazon? I had no idea. <laughs> you had no idea? It started out in October as the assignment to just write a story, and I didn't know it was going to be published until later in the school year when he invited me to join the Creative Writing Club and help put the book together. So if you're like me, you probably won't get to page one because you're horrified of clowns, and you had to put that illustration right up front, Brooke? <laughs> Brooke, what are you doing to me? It wasn't your call, was it? No. Right up front. But you drew this. Yes. That's amazing. Thank so you. So tell me about these illustrations. I did Seven. the cover and right. like six other illustrations inside the book. That's so cool. Thank you. Do you have a favorite? The clown one. The, the clown. I, I, see, I knew it. I knew it. But tell me about the cover, because that's so neat. How long did this take you? Um... Not very long, because that was just a sketch. Um, when Mr. Dew asked me to do the cover, I was like trying to just sketch out some ideas, and that's what came up. And when I went to show him the next day, he was like, oh, this is amazing. I'm going to use it. And I was planning to do this on the computer, but it turned out to be great on paper. <laughs> so your nonchalant, oh, it doesn't take a <laughs> sketch, became the cover of a book yes. being sold. I, it would take me like five days to come up with something that's not usable. You understand you're very talented. Thank you. You're very welcome. And you're sitting next to Allie. Allie, you contributed to this book also. So what did you do? Uh, I wrote a short story. Which one did you write? The statue. Ooh, the statue. What's that about? Just about two kids. They're researching for a school project. This mysterious statue that they found in one of the kids' basements. How cool is it to have a book that now people can buy, you can see that it's sold. Like, you're publishers. How neat is that? Really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Breathtaking. Let's get into it because the main thing is to get this book in other people's hands. Yes. How can people get the book? It's being sold on Amazon.com for twenty-two dollars. Um, so uh, I think that's a pretty decent value. Um, you, it's over one hundred and fifty pages, uh, full color illustrations. There's fourteen short stories, nineteen illustrations and photographs, two featured artists, four poems, and I think anyone who who likes reading. Uh, a good story or loves reading horror will, um, will, will not regret this purchase. And Prime Shipping's amazing because this got put into my hands before I even ordered it. So yeah. thank you guys. <laughs> Plug for Prime. <laughs> yeah, for, for Prime. All proceeds 
uh, go to the Creative Writing Club at Centerville Middle School, and we'll use those funds to produce our uh, next next year's uh, edition, next year's volume, uh, because it ain't uh, free that we that we do. <laughs> right. So we could use the support. Appreciate anyone who uh, goes online and purchases it. What's your favorite horror story of all time? Exorcist, um, uh, starring Linda Blair. Um, it was. Sh- filmed in Georgetown, which was right across the bridge from where I lived in Arlington. And uh, I saw it when I was like 17 years old in high school. And I thought I had grown out of having nightmares, but that <laughs> movie gave me nightmares. My favorite story has to be It by Stephen King. Uh, I, read it, I read the book when I was younger, and then I watched the movie after. And then I saw the new movie, and then there's another one coming up, and it's a really exciting story. And I like the way it jumps between perspectives and time. Can I say I love them all? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to cheat and you're trying to get out, but you love them all. So you're a big horror fan? Yes. So much so that you even write your own outside of class. Yes, me <laughs> and my best friend are currently working on our first horror book. That's so and cool. Mr. Dewey is going to help us publish, edit, and make our dreams come true. <laughs> and then you'll come back in and we'll talk about that? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. All right. Favorite horror story movie, and you can't say all of them because that would be copy. Uh, the Telltale Heart, probably. The Telltale Heart. Cool. Classic. Do you remember the first time you read it? In English class. Well, thank you guys for joining us. You want to tell thank everyone to go buy your book? <laughs> Come buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll send a clown. Or I'll send a clown. <laughs> Perfect.